Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, another game I've been waiting for for quite a while. Proteus has been released to early access, and full disclosure, as always, I was supplied a key from the dev team, the publishers, to cover Proteus for you. And it is a retro, modern, mix-up FPS game using uh, what looks like a lot of like sprite-based techniques from days of old with FPS games, like the original Doom and things like that, Wolfenstein, but mixed in with the latest rendering technologies that we see in modern games today. Now, if we take a look through the settings, we can see here we have uh, graphic settings here, maximum FPS, you've got all the good stuff, V-Sync off, resolution, native, and we've got some screen overlays, pixel, scanline, CRT. Uh, we may, may give those a go. Overlays, uh, you've got your audio. Uh, is there any advanced? Oh, we can scroll down a little bit more. There we go, I missed a bit there. Uh, dithering, screen space, reflections. We probably want those on. Maybe, maybe some uh, ambient occlusion as well. Not too sure on what other settings we could turn up, possibly, or it's just just a default kind of... That's, that's what you get. That's what that's what we're going with. Uh, not really anything else here. Um, gameplay, you got your HUD and things like that. Field of view, we'll whack that up a little bit. I like to play 90. Uh, minimal HUD, turn that off, uh, get more information. Use models instead of sprites. Okay, so you can change it from sprites to 3D models. Hide weapon if you want to. Uh, sprint toggle off. Skip tutorial messages. Unlockables. Uh, languages. So you go with choice of choice of uh, languages there. It says I'm not logged in here. We can log in and there are like online leaderboards and things like that for scores and maximum scores and beat other scores of other players and things like that. All that good stuff. But we're going to jump into the campaign here. It's fast paced. So if you like the old fast paced old school games or Doom and things like that. Doom Eternal. And, and you love that kind of game. I think this could be right down your alley. And the gore. The gore looks amazing. Been watching this, like I've said, for quite some time. And the gore looks over the top. Love, my, love myself some gore. Blood everywhere. Dismemberment. All that good stuff. Uh, let's jump on... Um, jump on hard. Why not? So as we can see, we've got the pixel-style textures. Pixel artwork here, but... All with the latest... Modern and what we would expect. Lighting and rendering... As we mentioned earlier. Love the art style though. So it's fully fully animated rotational sprites there, so it, you can go from different angles. That's pretty cool. That's pretty smart. A lot of work gone into them sprites. From all different angles, look at that. Instead of like rotating on the spot. I do I do like that. Let's keep moving. Well, that looks nice. Oh. Looks nice, but I don't know what... Oh, that... Oh, bye-bye to that bit of ship then, I guess. Oh, no, what? We have no idea what's going on, but we uh, teleported somewhere, it looks like. We've just gone to the surface of hell. I don't know. Just gathered a rune. Oh no! I'm just gonna run. Uh... Okay, maybe I was supposed to die back there. Oh, the soundtrack. Don't even get me started on that. Got that blood. It's blue. Oh, we got an ADS as well. So let's take a look at some of these settings while we're in the game here. We have minimal HUD on. What does that look like? Okay, yeah, it gets rid of the, the extra bits around the edge. There we go. 3D model it instead of a sprite. I actually prefer the sprites, to be fair. It's giving me a right... It's just... I just like the unique style of that. Takes me back. It's a bit of health potion, that. Oh, we've got Burst Fire if we ADS. Like armor. Little armor nodes there. I 
do actually like... Ooh! How he just, like, fizzled away there. That was pretty cool. I do like that. And the weapons, from what I have seen from footage, obviously, again, following this game for a while, do look... Oh, oh, it's a window. Ooh! I panicked. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. Now, there's a really nice, like, 3D live map thing. I forget what they're called, but it looks really awesome. Oh, that... Do you see that leave charred texture on the ground where the dude just burnt away? You see that? That's awesome. You can, uh... You can tell I'm pretty excited to try this. been watching it for... God, it must be a good few years now. Or whenever it was this was first... Kind of... Kind of teased. Like gore everywhere. There we go. Oh, that's the other side of that door. Okay. Oh, that dude just shoot me with a shotgun? Oh, yes. Now we've got it. Oh. Oh, incendiary. When you ADS. Oh, my God. That's so good. That's so good. It's just a well, speech. Leave me a bit speechless, which uh, doesn't happen very often. You know, I'm always usually pretty good to talk a lot, but I am impressed. Woo! Oh, the the jibs, the the pulps. The gore is so fast and smooth. In fact, okay, we should be running at 1440p. I've just put the FPS counter up there. We're over 100 FPS. Uh, this is capturing my native resolution, which is 1440p. Can I smash through that? I've just come down here. Did I just grab some bits and then I go back up? Okay. Head back this way somewhere else. Where I came from, I think. Do we go? Ah, there we go. Got some armor in there. I can imagine there's secrets and all kinds of stuff to find. There we go. Secret uncovered. Whoa! The hell is that? Whoa. Okay, we've done a switch there, switch there. Anything we're missing? Something down here, maybe. Another little bit of armor. Looks like we've got a little collectible down below. My god, it goes everywhere. That's awesome. It's definitely got that Doom 2016, Doom Eternal vibe, which ain't a bad thing. I do love my uh, fast-paced arcade-style shooters, the classic vibe. And then with this, just just the mixture of the old-school sprites with modern technology, rendering methods, technology, techniques. Sound effects. Sound effects are good. Sound design's good on these weapons. Hello!
Oh my god. Oh, it's glass. God damn it. All right, we'll cut through. Some monsters waiting there for me. I don't know what I'm... D I don't know what I've done here. Oh! This can't be good. Oh, that thing freaked me out then for a second. Oh, I'm up. Oh, no, yes. Oh, I'm up acquired. Oh, that's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, eat some. Blood all over my guns now as well. Love it. Maybe I shouldn't have switched that. Not sure if I should have switched. Switch that. I don't know. Oh. There we go. We've got auto map our location there with the arrow. So there's, uh, I think, ammo and stuff to collect. More places, little secret areas. Potentially other things you can explore. Maybe a little secret hidden down there. Look. Little uh, poking out a bit of, bit of the map there, terrain. That's uh, my checkpoint that I collected earlier, and we went up around there. Some more ammo, looks like. So we got to head towards the red door now, I guess. Which uh, is it? These red diamonds? I don't know. Let's go and have a look. So many. Just reload here quickly. Well, that felt like a really accurate kind of incendiary. Going down. Okay, we used the red key there to escape. Secrets, 40%. No deaths, 15 minutes. Hard difficulty. Hard's not too bad. I could probably go here. Another one higher than hard. Maybe try very hard. And that was Sacrum we just completed. Obviously, there were more secrets we could have found and things like that. But we can go to the next level here. Research and carry on around the map here. The overworld kind of thing we oh, we've got a load out here as well we can check out our weapons special items that's pretty cool but of course i don't want to spoil the whole game for you that's just a quick look and a little first impressions okay and that is proteus by bounding box software published by humble games again of course full disclosure was provided a key to check this out with you lovely ladies and gentlemen what do you think let me know in the comments below currently out now in early access I'll leave a link to Proteus on Steam in the description below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when my future videos go live. It really does help the channel out a lot. 
as I always keep hearing, a lot of people are not subbed who watch. And it really means a lot supporting the channel any way you can. Of course, I hope you all stay safe. I love you all. And I'll see you peeps. Next time.